And we are back, and we're just about to head to the second level, which name I have forgotten once again, which I should try to work on, I'm sorry. But we can't all be perfect, okay? So, let's just go to the next level. Tall Plains. Oh, Tall Plains, yes, Tall Plains. Proud ancient tribe called the Atlawa. Bless you. Sparks, the Atlawa were a people in tune with the rhythms of the season. Focused on their relationship to crops, their surroundings, their gods. They've all been driven underground by Cinder and her forces, who have taken over the tribe shrine. I sense that's where Cinder is keeping Sil. Trying to power another crystal. Wait, what? You must find him before she succeeds. Right. Never easy. Crystal? What happened to orbs? Now you're spouting wisdom here, I thought she I was stealing the Garden's power and putting them in orbs, not crystals. Major plot hole. Major plot hole. Hey, what did the writers just go like, oh man, we wrote orbs before and now we just wrote crystals. What should we do? Um, I have no idea. I know. Let's just not work on it. People just will ignore it. Big mistake. I mean, what were they thinking? What idiots? I mean, seriously, why would... Okay, I do have to admit this game does kind of have some maybe plot holes. Well, that is the only plot hole I have encountered. Oh, well, one of the things I would be do be about it is just complain. Crystals, orbs, are two different things, people. They're not the same. Maybe a crystal orb, maybe that's gay. A crystal orb is an orb. Okay, a orb is an orb. A crystal is a crystal. They're both different. Maybe they're crystal orbs, but still. They still need to work on the plot hole. In fact, I am about to be announced that after the Legend of Sparrow, a new beginning, after I can do the complete walkthrough, I will do a full review, okay, announcing the pros and cons of this game. What I liked about it, what I hated about it, which is highly unlikely, because this game is pretty much awesome. And I will give, and I'll give each part of this game a certain review, like a 1 out of 10. Favorite and boss, favorite the ultimate villain, the favorite film of all, um, let's see. Oh, what I think of the bosses, uh, what I think of the enemies, what I think of the, the environments, landscape, the levels, the secret the, uh, places, such as uh, some of the places where we might pass to get uh, uh, more gems, you know, stuff like that. Well, I think of the combo moves, the breath attacks, the furies, the only elemental things. Oh, okay, I'll do a, okay, I'll do a review of this. Okay, with, when you will end that. Sorry, just the gang hesitated there. And you shall see me, literally, me, there, you, on a table, in front of a green screen, doing a review of that game. A few clips of it. Or maybe even throwing that cool kick-ass video, music video. You kind of like I did in uh, uh, part um, part ten. You know when we faced the ice giant and I really turned on um, the dragon rider, which is a cool song, and I and I remember to thank the people and tell them that dragon rider belongs to who wrote it. Alright, we just gotta go through here and... Okay, now watch out for this bit, okay? If you step on this, the mouth opens, and if you stand on it long enough, it will shoot tiny pins. It's, it's like a booby trap. Well, actually, it is a booby trap, but... We'll just continue over here and... Remember in the last level, there was something called an ice cannon? You would 
Okay, he was breathing, uh, shooting frozen ice at us. Well, this is an earth cannon. It just shoots pins, like that uh, thing we just saw back there. Now, let's just get the drop on these enemies. You're messing with the wrong dragon. Stupid baboons. Hmm. Look at that. I didn't even mean I didn't even mean to do that. You son of a bitch. I truly hate these monkeys. That's one of the things I like to do. It's kick ass. I hate him. Oh, we hate him. Electric moves aren't really powerful as fire moves. Do I guess that each one of the elements is like, some power more powerful than others, or maybe it's just certain enemies, like certain types of apes? And you also make. There is something cool about these apes. They actually, um have themes to this level. You know, to each level they have a theme. In the first level, when we saw the apes, they had more of a they have like a caveman kind of thing. And in the second one they had an Eskimo theme. And now they have a Aztec theme, which is kinda like an which is a, uh, a primitive civilization from uh, South America. I have no idea how I know that. Better level this thing up. You're gonna just like it when I upgrade and get sounds of it. Like the fire won't go like whoosh, burn noise and well I'm not really doing it sounds more like wind, but this one's more of a burn noise and the electric one's going like zzz, 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 zzz. I really like that, it's kinda cool. This must be allow us. The guys are trapped. And it looks like they have the different variations of dread wings as well. This one's big blue and big orange. Unlike the one that was in the last level. I can't remember what color it was. Was it, was it kind of purplish? Or no, no, probably not purple, but no white. I think it was maybe snow white or uh, not that kind of snow white. I meant new a shade of white. It'd be funny if one would try to sing the birds and you know, their heads would blow. Your ass, monkey boy. Alright, time to hit you those crystals. And, uh, uh, wait, what the hell? Okay, that is just not, does not make sense. How the hell? I mean, why did you just can't come back? I mean, that's not possible. That's not logically, like, scientifically it's possible. I mean, stuff like that can't happen. Even if we. I do have to complain about some of the questions about this game. It's a scenario con of this. Of this. But overall, it is kind of, it's a very good game. Fun. Cool. It's a great adventure. I was just trying to help. Well, the and Kane need no help. Oh, just about to spring into action, huh? Yeah, tough guy. This guy's Spyro, come on. What did they want with you anyway? It's none of your business. I've got a tribe to save. Mm, Mr. Crumpy. Oh, you're welcome. Ah, oh, shit. A dreadwing. These guys literally just piss me off. Oof, that was close. One more second, we would have plummeted to our deaths. Alright, let's just get this crystal over here. Hmm. Well, that was a bit easy. Oh, 
Oh, there's one more. Wait. Oh, damn it. There's another booby trap. That was close. Okay, we just gotta sleep on this guy and... Oh, damn it. Now we gotta go all the way back up there. I don't really feel like, uh, you know, commentary all the way back, so... I'm just gonna, you know, stay offline for a few seconds. You know, I mean, stop, stop my mic for a few seconds, okay? So let me clear my throat. And so we can continue, okay? As soon as we get on the right path. That's odd. Why isn't it working? Aw, oh, damn it! I know what the problem is. It's wrong things again. You see, sometimes my uh, works here kind of mix up my thingy, my mic settings with my computer um, settings, so I think it's still listening to my computer other than the mic. <sighs> Just my luck. Just my luck. Okay, I'm sorry if you might be hearing some noises, but I'm really sorry. Here, just move this thing over here. Sorry if you might hear some noise. I cannot believe this happened again. I'm seriously cannot believe it. Note to self: check audio settings bef before a using anything, or doing anything. Well, the good part, good thing is this level is nearly over. Just three more minutes to go. Actually, two more minutes, but... Kablam! I think my fire okay powers are nearly fully upgraded. Well, well, just the primary one, the secondary... Oh, more pots. To smash! I'm the pot smasher! Gotta check on some things, uh, let's see. Ah, okay. Just checking my sayings from my, uh, uh, 10th video, my 10th part. It's being okay, uploaded as I speak, or at least at this moment, where I'm recording. You just died, little monsters. I just check and see if I missed anything. Guess not. All right, let's just continue. Okay. And I also want to announce, uh, as you probably already know, that uh, after I do this walkthrough, I'm gonna do the Legend of Sparrow, the Eternal Night. See, one of my friends has been has been telling me on DA that she's been having problems. Oh, I'm gonna let you guys have the Thunder Wave. And the best part is an after effect. If they touch you, or if there's, you come to contact with them, they get shot automatically. That is awesome. That is really awesome. Well, anyway, I'm gonna do um, the Eternal Night review okay, and walk through because I had some troubles on it too. Because there was a certain level I couldn't get to get through. Uh, it was very tough. It took me a year to figure out how, so I figured out how. I just watched a walkthrough. Hmm. I know. So I eventually watched one and I figured out how to complete the game. I, I, I believe I finished the game first time on a Tuesday. Yeah. Then a few months later, the Dawn and Dragon came out. Right. So we're nearly done with this video, so... Uh, see you guys later. Stay tuned, enjoy, and subscribe to Sean Road 200. Stay tuned, everyone. Peace out.